Good evening, girls. Good evening, boys. Ladies, will you please take your seats. Guys, come stand beside me. So, guys, as you know, tonight is a very, very important roommate selection because the woman that you choose will be your last roommate in paradise. So if I were you, I would choose very wisely because she will be the only one that can take you to the final day and the ultimate prize. So Zach, you're up first. Now, uh, I know that you and your chosen date, Stephanie, had a few ups and downs last night. Sure, yeah. Well, you know that this is a very important roommate selection. So you must choose very wisely. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. With that in mind, please select a roommate. Are you confident, even after your few ups and downs, that Stephanie is the woman that can take you to the very end, which is pretty much the most important thing here? Yeah, I do trust her, and I enjoy her company, and I keep my word, so that's it. Mikey, come on over. There aren't very many girls left, are there? Not a whole lot, no. No. Well, I know that your relationship with Krista is, uh, is one of a very strong bond, right? We see things very, very similar. Krista's a fabulous person. She's an amazing roommate. Well, let's see if she is the one who you want to play the game with till the end, Mike. Thank you very much, Amanda. And I guess that would be a yes, then. <laughs> you know, the both of you have said time and time again that, you know, you're not in it to win it, you're in it to be yourselves, you're not strategists, but would that mean, therefore, you're prepared to lose the game, Mike? I'll tell you what, um, I made it this far, and I haven't uh, changed or altered my character at any point in time. I'm just like everyone else. I don't want to see anyone else go, but the fact of the matter is I understand it is a game, and there's nothing I can do or say about that. Hey, Ryan. Hi, Amanda. Come on over. Well, this is quite an interesting situation because, as you know very well, Krista is just as much of a bosom buddy to you as she is to Mike, yet Mike has already chosen her. And Stephanie and you have had uh, somewhat of a little romantic relationship at one point, not so much anymore. And Daisha is left sitting pretty on her own. She's always sitting pretty. Was there any strategic move behind choosing Daisha tonight, Ryan? Other than being good friends with her and Mike and Krista getting along well and Zach and Steph having a good time together. Do you feel that you can trust Daisha to be the woman that might take you through to the end? Absolutely. No ifs, ands, or buts? No, uh, I have never said anything bad about her and I don't think she said anything bad about me. We're both here to enjoy ourselves and Hopefully we can get to the end. James, you're up. What's up? Next and last. So, it seems you've had some great rolls of the dice here at Paradise Hotel. You, in fact, were voted the least trustworthy man in Paradise, and you're still standing here in front of me. You feeling the pressure? Uh, yeah, but, uh, but we'll see what the outcome is, you know? Thank God TD's back on my side. At least I hope she is. I think she is. Okay. Well, then please go choose a roommate, James. Okay. Three of the originals. All right, so we have two couples and unfortunately one bit of a sticky situation which we need to sort out right now. Daisha, before you make your ultimate decision, I just want to be clear. The man that you reject will not be going to the single room tonight. He will be checking out a Paradise Hotel forever. 